Welcome back to the community, everybody, and thanks for being here. To my subscribers, I appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. Drop down in the description and check out the website. Today, we're going to be removing the doors off the 68. Everything that I do, obviously, I'm just going to keep filming and make the whole process complete in the end so you can watch the whole project come along. A lot of guys have trouble with these screws getting them out. Sometimes it's not easy. This car has been sitting since, I don't know, the, the 70s? Not sure. I can only go by the 1976 inspection sticker. Uh, also, these doors original to the car. They've been on there since 1968. I'm sure one screw or two screws is going to give me a problem, but I'll show you what I do to try to avoid that situation of rounding off one of the heads or breaking one off and having to drill and tap it. So hopefully it don't go that way. I'll show you a few little tips and tricks that I do that really make a difference. Come on, let's do it. Okay, so first thing I'm going to use is this impact driver. It says Champion. This thing's old. I'm 57. And this was in the garage when I was 14 or 15 with my father. It came from his garage now that he had, you know, been anyhow, sorry. This impact driver is what you need. They still sell them, of course. And we want to use the large Phillips, which would be this one. And it's pretty big. The Phillips screws, I believe the thread pitch is eight by one and a quarter. eight millimeter by 1.25 and the head on them is a number four Phillips I happen to have from my dad's garage of course this is old I don't even know made in USA that is a number four Phillips uh, they're not very easy to find but I'll show you how big these screws are which you probably already know here's the big guys here although I gotta pop them caps off the factory caps are still there for the inside ones but that is a number four Phillips. Whoops, there you are. And they're big. I'll put my thumb next to one. See? Okay, now that you know how big my thumb is. First things first, before I attempt to even pop these screws loose and show you how to get to them, we got to remove these little, I think there's a little spring under her like a little clip like a horseshoe clip i'm going to go ahead and pop this off and then i'll show you what it looks like then we pull the pin and get that out of the way okay so i took the little clip off of here and i can't show you it it's a little horseshoe clip that goes on the bottom of this pin because when i pushed it off with the screwdriver it hit me in the forehead and it fell somewhere no big deal okay anyhow we're going to push this up, try not to get in front of the camera, and oh, why when I'm filming? Just take the pin up and out after you get the clip off. And as you could see at the bottom, it has that little slot in it so no big deal and that just comes off and then when you go to remove the door it ain't gonna be stuck there are your hinges yes i know you know that however go inside look about where the hinge is okay and look up in there oh looky two screws see them right there I'll take a picture and show you. On the inside, there's another one. It's hard with the camera, okay? But you get the point. Spray PB Blast in there, or whatever you like using. And when you go down inside, of course, with the camera, you're not going to see it. But down inside is the lower hinge. This is, sorry, it's hard with the camera. I'm sure you understand why. Look to that side of the hinge down inside and once you find the screws just shoot your PB blast down inside of there. Get it all on the back of the threads of the screws coming through. You should do that. I don't see anybody doing it 
I don't know why. Here's the top hinge. We're gonna do this first, okay? Now expect a little bouncing possibly from the camera when I start pounding. Let's take our cap off. Okay, it's just a protective plastic cap. If you don't have these, they still sell them along with the screws. These are eight by 1.25. We're gonna go ahead and hit these with the impact driver. Now remember, I already sprayed PB Blast on the other sides of these screw threads on the tops and the bottoms. Make sure you do that. I don't see anyone doing this and I don't know why because it greatly helps. So, we got our impact driver ready, okay? And the number four screws on it. On these impact drivers, it'll say R and L, of course, right and left. I got this twisted, so it turns left. And give it a try. I'm trying to stay out of your way if possible here. Oh, crap. Nice. Told you it helps when you spray behind them. Okay. Now we're going to find out how much it helps. There's your screw. It's just a regular, nothing fancy. Of course, for the SEPTA number four Phillips head. That's a big screw. Let's try another one. I'm telling you, I, for some reason, and I've watched quite a few videos and I don't know why, but nobody is spraying PB Blast behind it where you can access the threads. I know it's not easy to get to, but it makes a million percent difference. Or a hundred percent. Okay, let's try another one. Bam. These have been on here since 1968. That's why it makes a difference. Now look at that. Also, you want to spray. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> you want to spray some PB Blast around the outsides of them too, okay? I'm going to move down to the lower one and leave that. Well, let's break this one loose at least, but leave it in there until we get the lower ones opened. Bam. See what I'm talking about? Okay, the door wanted to come off at the top. So we're gonna move to the bottom now, okay? Give me a second. Now we're on the bottom hinge. Let's pop our little cap off. I wanna try to save these. They're in really good shape. Wow, nothing like actual German stuff. Okay, remember, we still have one screw holding the upper on. So we're gonna try to bust these loose. I sprayed these twice because when I looked down through the channel with a LED light, I could see a little bit of rust formation, which is expected after, you know, 50 years. And I sprayed them two times though with PB Blast and let it soak. Uh, hopefully it'll break loose. Expect a little bouncing here for a second. Got it. I'm telling you guys, it helps spraying the back of them threads. You got to figure these been in there forever. I watch guys fighting with these and it becomes a problem where some of them have to end up drilling the heads out to get the off of there. I'm not saying I'm anything special, but that's the process I use and I have yet to ever have to really screw one of these up, you know, and drill it out. Now, I'll probably buy some new screws. As you can see, they're a little buggered up. But not bad. Let's knock another one loose, hopefully. Or I'm mouthing off. And then something stupid will happen. Whoops. I gotta turn this. There we go. Oops, tool fell apart. Yeah, 
here. Tell me it doesn't make a difference. After 50 years, these shouldn't have came out that easy. And let me see. Can you see the ends of them? It's hard to tell, but there's all kind of rust and corrosion at the ends. And that PB blast going in from the other side, soaking in, made it nice. Last one on this side. Got it. Okay. Let me loosen this one up a little. There we go. I don't want to take it all the way out yet. Okay. Let's back up. You can do what you want here. What I would advise so you don't hurt yourself and do what you want, it's your doing, is you can put a floor jack underneath the door out towards the middle or end with a piece of 2 by 6 on it or something like that to support the door while you're loosening the remaining one screw on the top and one on the bottom. I'm just going to hold it with my shoulder and do it so it is what it is and that's why I get hurt all the time. Take the bottom one out first because the top one will literally just you know, deal. Okay, now let's get the top one out. See that PB blast shooting them on them threads made such a difference. All you gotta do is sneak inside of there and do it, and they will come out. You will not be drilling them out, and maybe a little heat, but it wasn't needed for this one. Oh. Come on, get out of there. There we go. And here's what everything looks like. You can see inside there where you screw into. They can be removed and taken out of there, but I don't like to do it if I don't have to. It's not a whole lot of fun. And. Here's what the hinges look like. They just slide in there. Not a big deal. And they sell, let me go to the other door over there. I'll show you what I mean. There's little caps that are supposed to be over here, little plastic caps. And you remove them caps, drip a little oil, open, close, open, close, and then you're oiling your hinges. I like my doors to move very smooth. And then you put your little cap back on, okay? So, that's how you do it. You want to do the other side with me? Since I mouthed off about the whole situation with the uh, PB down inside the channel. Okay. So, I got the car on roller skates. Since my garage isn't real big, I slid it over. I got too much stuff everywhere. Extra engines, transmissions. An engine shoved under the workbench. I think I need a bigger garage, but anyhow. Here we are on the other side, and there is your two screws, okay? Then on the inside of that is the other screw. Now, and you go down inside, of course, with flashlight, but you don't have to get way down inside of there. You'll be putting your nozzle on your PB Blast and spraying it down in. I just can't get the camera to show you it. So either way, spray those threads, let them sit for a little bit, spray it again, let them sit for a little bit. Do it two, three times. Remember, some of these screws have been on her for 50 years, so lubricate them threads up. I'm telling you, look what just happened for me. Ta-da. Okay, no big deal. So, I'm on the passenger side, and your little pin here, the little clip didn't take off on me this time. Where are you at? There it is. That's the little clip. It's just a little, like, horseshoe clip. It isn't a big deal. All right. And then, after you remove it, just push your pin straight up and up. All right. So, we're on the passenger side, of course. This pin is out of this latch. Okay. There we go. Now... It was missed in one plastic cap up top. Not a big deal, really. I've sprayed these three times. I waited about 15 minutes each. Is that enough time? I don't know. We're going to find out. And I have my impact. i got to make sure it's turned to left. 
it might bounce around for a second. Okay. Are you amazed yet? Probably not. It's okay. Alrighty. And let's try another. I'll speed to film up here if you want. Leave that there. Don't take that off. Leave one up top while you do the bottoms. We have one of the factories. So I was only missing one plastic. No, well, maybe two because that just flew. I'll find it. Okay. This is where my channels like comedy are. Let's give this one a rock and roll. There we go. Come on, get out of there. Hello. Okay. Remember, we're going to remove one more. And then, of course, ah, look at that. Somebody was trying to get them out before. Sure looks like it to me. But I could tell by the inside that they've never been out. Let's back up. Like on the other side, I'm going to take the bottom one out first and then the top one. Okay. Remember, have a jack underneath here, unless you want to put stress on your shoulder and back like I did. Okay. And right out. See how they just slide in there? Not a big deal. All right, so that's door removal 101. Trust me, folks, take the time and spray the PB Blast behind her. I have yet to see anybody do that, and I don't know why. I've been doing it for 40 years that way. No, I don't know everything. I really don't. I just know a little bit. Spray some PB Blast down inside them jams inside of here on them threads. Do it about three times. Even let it soak overnight if you have the time. And as you see, they've been sitting since 1968. I didn't round one off. But I could tell by the heads of the Phillips, like you see here, somebody was trying to get them out before. And probably when they started the strip, they gave up on it, which thankfully they did and didn't break them off. But do it that way. It's a number four Phillips and an impact driver. You pick them up probably at Harbor Freight. The one I have is very old. Like I told you, it came from my dad's garage from 45 years ago or whatever. I don't even remember. It's nice and heavy, so it must have been an old USA made one. Thanks for being here. I'm going to keep going along and keep filming everything I do. Next, I'm going to pop the seats out and rip the tar board up and get the floors all cleaned up and ready and see what they look like. So if you want, I'll film everything I do. It's free entertainment, you know what I mean? So thanks for being here. I'll see you next time around.